Wizard 101 has recently just updated their game with a couple of spell changes. Now, in today's video, we'll be talking about everything that was changed and how it's going to affect advanced combat, PvP, raids, all that kind of thing. And I'm going to talk about where the meta is likely to go with a lot of these things. Now, as always, I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback down there in the comments below with what you guys think about these spell changes. Do you think they're good? Do you think they're bad? Do you think the previous versions were better? Uh, for the most part, I'd say they're all pretty much just got buffed. Uh, for the most part, I'd say. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video, y'all. So starting off with the life school, we basically have two spell changes. And it these are the spells Leprechaun and Centaur. The trap counters basically were buffed within this update. Now, we're going to talk about that right away here. First one's going to be Leprechaun. Red Leprechaun hits and can clear up to two traps now as opposed to one within the last update. And then you get one single heal for five rounds. Now, this spell is still not going to be used and is extremely useless. On face value, yes, it is a buff, but it still doesn't solve the problem with trap stacking in advanced combat. If the devs wanted the spell to be usable as like a trap counter, it would have to offer two heal overtimes per trap on you because you have to create pressure back to start winning the game, right? You don't have time to leprechaun twice because they'll just wait it out and do it again and they gain value on you, right? So uh, this audit was cool. Yes, it's a direct buff, but it's still not going to be enough and still is not worth packing until they give us multiple hots for one action. Next up, we have Centaur. Centaur is probably the best thing about this entire update, guys. If you are a life wizard, you just got giga buffed within this update against trap stack. So Centaur now clears four traps instead of three. So that's actually two turns of tempo with a trap stacker. And you get a 40 life blade. Now, I'm not sure if this is four 40 life blades. I would assume it is four 40 life blades uh, looking at the card here. So that's really, really good for a life. That's a one turn gambit setup, I believe, which is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Um, for, you know, most schools, but no most notably life, you can just play regular, you know, centaur into shad into a shad and they'll die, or you can centaur into a gambit and they'll die on a life. A lot of options. Unfortunately, you won't be seeing centaur being used anymore, most likely because of how, you know, pip heavy it is for the other schools like death, uh, like storm, you know, the other blade schools. This really just isn't used because a lot of pips it requires and you do no damage on those schools with life, obviously. Not to mention the blades are really useless, right? Why would you use life DVP on a death or a storm when your stats are already horrible? You're just throwing at that point. So uh, it's, it's really situational, probably not going to be worth packing, but I'll be trying it in the meta to see if I can get a cool video with it perhaps. But uh, I think this is a huge buff to life, and the other schools, it's a slight nerf, in my opinion, for like death and storm on the centaur point. Next thing we're going to talk about is going to be ice. Now, ice got a pretty substantial buff this update. A lot of people think that ice is one of the worst schools right now. Uh, the leaderboard says otherwise, but I digress, you know. Um, ice got a pretty big buff to ice wyvern this update. And I fully support this. Uh, basically, if you look at the card here, it does damage and now it clears up to three blades. So you can clear an entire elemental blade or sun blade and you still get three traps. Um, it is 35 traps as opposed to 245 traps like it was before. So it's a bit less potent, but you do gain more value with an extra trap and an extra blade removal. So. Just a straight buff for ice, pretty much, with this 
ice wyvern change. One thing I will say about the ice wyvern change is I wish that this could be used more universally. Like I wish other schools could use ice wyvern and get chromatic traps. So like blade removal was a bit better, you know, cause for example, myth in the meta, you, you know, Banshee is meta. So myth counters Banshee. But if other schools could wyvern and actually kill the myth before they could kill them, with chromatic traps, that would be really cool, and that would help with the blade stacking problem. Next up, I want to talk about the fire changes. Now, fire got a couple of changes with this patch. Uh, most notably, emulate. A lot of players like emulate, whether it's the old version or it's the new version. But uh, emulate is now cross trainable and chromatic, so anybody can train emulate and ice, a death, a storm, a balance, we can all get this spell now and the path B, which is the bottom path here, basically got a buff. So basically what this does now guys is it does self damage and then it puts an over a protected overtime on your opponent and then it clears up to three traps on yourself for another overtime. So you can basically like knock off a shield clear three sets of traps and threaten a fire scion right away with this. Um, again, yeah, it's a pretty good buff to fire, but this doesn't really affect other schools as well. You know, trap counters are still going to be really, really bad for other schools within this update. And lastly, we're going to look at Pigsy. Pigsy actually got unbanned from advanced combat. I believe, I think it's top path Pigsy. I'm not mistaken. So, Basically now you can use this in team PvP and it raids, which is a huge deal. This spell is extremely good, as you can see on the top path. 800 AoE, I believe, to all your teammates for four pips, which is uh, really, really, really powerful in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything there is for the spell changes in this video, y'all. Um, I think trap stack is still going to be meta, I think if anything. You might see more life skewing because the only school that can do anything good against it is life because they can actually run centaur right now so i think life will be queued more often and i think they'll use centaur a lot more and you might see fire try to use emulate into a scion but the thing is you can't do that you know if the stacker just runs fire ward and you try to do that you're gonna do no damage even with a scion on a fire because of how uh ward and how high resist is right now in the meta so that's kind of what i think is gonna happen i think uh fire is still gonna be bad because uh people will just ward and resist is too high and i think life will be queued a lot more because centaur got just a giga like i cannot express this it, a, a giga buff like a just huge buff only for life and that's really amazing for life it's it's now just the anti-trap school which obviously is this whole identity along with healing so it's cool to see but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned something new again looking forward to read your thoughts down there in the comments below uh what do you guys think about this what do you think is going to happen with the meta and stuff like that i'll probably be posting a video talking about the meta and like my feedback for it probably sometime this week so Look out for that, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. If you made it this far, leave a like and a sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for being here and watching. Take care, y'all.